Today is the 1776 Restoration Movement's big rally. But I think a bigger story is what I made a video on yesterday that I have an update for. And I think this might hit the convoy at its core. So, they did get trolled with the 100 sandwiches that they then did a prayer circle because the person said there was a car accident. They eventually realized they got trolled and got some pity donations. But the bigger story is that Texas convoy. If you didn't watch my video on the Texas convoy, please do. It covers a lot. I don't think it was real. And I really don't think it's real now. I think Santa got played for donations. I think Santa got on the phone with a scammer because it's not looking very good. So yesterday it was a very patriotic page begging for money. They've got all these supplies. And if you look at the reefer trailer or the generator, you'll notice it was all reverse image searchable. And you can easily find that this was things from the Philippines, Australia. These were not in America. They're not in Dallas like they claim they had acquired them. So let's go to the page now. They've removed the patriotic banner. This might even be the default banner. I don't use Facebook, so I'm not sure, but it sure looks default. Uh, they still have the name of the group the same. The only featured post is, yet again, asking for donations. But One Stop Handyman, the guy that was big in charge of all of this, his account appears either deleted or private. Everything he said is gone. The only posts are from a few of the fans that joined the group. It appears the group is abandoned. So today, they're supposed to have two West Virginia politicians at this event. And honestly, I'm questioning whether they're real because the Attorney General didn't show up yesterday, but hey, he could have been busy. But uh, it's going to be interesting because this rally, I fully expected them to talk about the Texas convoy. So if they don't mention it, that says a lot. Because this convoy was supposed to be put on the website, they're going to be planning working together. If they're not mentioning them as coming on the 13th anymore, then the 1776 Restoration Movement has realized it's probably not real. If they do mention it and still say it's coming, they might not have been smart enough to watch my video to see what's going on or to check the page and see that it looks like it's been abandoned. 